right over. I've got my coffee that I have drank here. I'm well caffeinated. <laughs> so we're going to talk a little bit today about the delicious food show that's coming up. And yes. our kitchen studio. Absolutely. So actually, before we start talking about that, we wanted to talk about like the very first time that we met. Oh, I hope you remember. <laughs> I do. I actually do. Okay, good. Okay. So the first time that we met was at the Chase. That was our first time. That was the very first time. Oh, see, I remember. I was thinking when you asked me, I was thinking, oh my goodness, I can't remember. That was one of the first memories that came to mind. But I was like, I swear I knew her before, but maybe it's because like, I we, read your stuff yeah, so much. I think we talked on the internet, but okay. like, we never actually met. That's, so that was that's, the very first time. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah. And I think not the food. <laughs> well, we left. That's early. right. I know. <laughs> so yeah, we definitely did not have enough food. Yeah. But, I mean, that was the first time, and I think from there it's been really great because we've always been sort of like, we have the same views We do, we do, absolutely. So, you're beyond food blogging, you're also a dietitian. I am, yes. So, tell me a little bit about that. Well, um, <laughs> uh, you know, I, I try to incorporate um, my kind of nutrition knowledge when it's applicable. Mm -hmm. So, it's nice to meet brands, I kind of do a lot of TV and radio sometimes now with uh, with as a, as a dietitian, yeah. but I'm a cool dietitian, yes. you know? I'm a foodie dietitian <laughs> first, so I'm food first. I really think that food needs to be delicious first and foremost, and then, you know, you work way, you work in ways to kind of balance everything out as you, as you do. Yeah. But, um, you know, something we've talked about before is I, I lead the pace, I which is health at every size, yeah. for those who are not well acquainted. Um, but uh, but I, I really do think that, you know, being healthy is about honoring your body, um, listening to those innate um, hunger and satiety cues, and eating mindfully, rather than, which is what a lot of people do, yeah. um, you know, restricting restricting diet or denying yourself that kind of pleasure. So my whole food brand, um, Abby's Kitchen, has been about you know celebrating that pleasure in food. So I don't think that you know I think that's the really that's the only way to to have you know. A good time with food and, and to celebrate because obviously yeah. we eat a lot of indulgent things. <laughs> yes. Um, but at the same time, kind of maintain a, you know a healthy relationship. Mm -hmm. That's probably the best the best way to do it because food is such a celebration. Absolutely. That like I think a lot of times, even with like a lot of the women that we talk to and we deal with, they have such a hard time with even eating food in public. Oh yeah, absolutely. So it's and it's funny because you know as a dietitian. Um, it, you know, I, you have to, at least for me, I had to just kind of like say to myself, I don't care what people are going to think about me because 90% of the time, if someone finds out I'm a dietitian, it's kind of like, they're either going to want to look at what I'm eating or, and judge me on what I'm eating, right. or they're worried about me judging them on what they're eating. Right. And I usually just kind of clear the air and say, hey, 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 <laughs> I had a poutine like an hour ago. I don't really care what you're eating. I, I've seen you eat. You oh yeah. I can talk. <laughs> Well, um, it, it's great because this is a, basically a, a follow-up to last year's Abbey's Kitchen Stadium events, and so I know you were at some of those. So that was a four-part series. This, I mean, we did the finale of the Delicious Food Show. Uh, this year, we're just kind of going all out. We're, we're just squeezing it into one amazing Abbey's Kitchen Stadium at the Delicious Food Show. And the way it's going to work is that we have an Abbey's Kitchen um, pavilion. So you come into the pavilion, there are eight top Toronto chefs and restaurants in the pavilion. Um, people can, you know, buy food items, of course, they're about, everything's five dollars. Mm -hmm. The chefs are all going to be prepared two dishes each. You can drink, we've got Versita and Sam Adams there, uh, mingle about, and um, and you can vote on your favorite dish of the day. So there's not a judging panel like there usually Not yet, but oh, we haven't gotten there yet. Okay, okay, okay. So it's people's choice first. So, okay. so basically there's... <laughs> Uh, I guess 16 dishes total because there's eight right. chefs, two dishes each. You vote on your favorite dish, okay. and then at the end of Saturday night, I'm going to tally up. My team will tally up the top four. So right. the top four dishes and chefs are going to compete on the stage with the panel of celebrity judges. We've got those in the works now, and it's coming along really well. Um, and so that's going on at the Delicious Food Show on October 19th from four till six on the big, you know, food number stage. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. And. Who are the chefs that you have for the Kitchen Stadium this year? Okay, so I wrote this in because I was going to forget one, and then I feel horrible. That usually is what happens. You get an email later being like, like, what about me? I know, 
I just can't handle that. So, okay, so let me see what the hell that I can do. So, Home of the Brave, uh, Splendido, The Good Son, Die Low, uh, The New Thoroughbred, Hudson Kitchen, Hearts and Labor, and... Porzia. Yeah. Oh. Yes. That is gonna be like... It's gonna be amazing, right? Yeah, and it's like a little bit of everything. That's what I, that's what I was kind of going for, so that, you know, we are really gonna get a nice spread and everyone's gonna be like really great. And uh, after the people's choice, yes. then is it chefs will be eliminated and the other chefs will move forward? It's gonna be all in one go. So okay. I mean, and it's not like elimination per se. Okay. It's just it's just determining which four chefs are gonna go on stage on the Sunday. Got it. You'll still be able to get the food all day, every day on Friday, Saturday, Sunday in the pavilion, okay. which is what matters, right? Yeah. It's gonna be a big party. Yeah, it'll be fun. It's just like Abby's kitchen party, rather exactly. than Abby's. <laughs> right. I like it. Yeah. So I know that I read this year for the delicious food show. They're actually doing like interactive chefs. Yes. So are you going? I am. Well, the great thing is I'm actually doing the hosting on stage with all the chefs for the whole weekend. Okay. So not only am I hosting Abby's Kitchen Stadium, yep. but I'm going to be on stage Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all day, all night. So you should, you've got a pretty busy weekend. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of um, eating, drinking, laughing, hopefully. It's going to be great. And so... You need comfortable shoes, though. Very comfortable. I swear, I'm just going to like, you know, wear my cute little outfits on stage and then brush <laughs> off and it's like flip-flops through the yeah. So. Um, but with the Chef Series, that is really exciting because what it means is that you get to be in a small, intimate room doing a workshop with like Chuck Hughes or Kyler Florence or yeah. G. Like, when else is that even that possible? That opportunity never really exists. Never really exists. No. Right? So it's uh, it's really exciting. You can get tickets for that. They're on sale now. They're selling out really quick, so yeah, I, I can't saw, even say for sure if there's any sold out. I think the last time I checked, like, the Murphy Q and went over had 10 tickets yeah. left. And I mean, to eat and I know with him would be amazing. Amazing. It's, it's pretty mind-blowing. Yeah. The other thing that you should definitely check out is on the Friday night, we're having the Nadia Jean Mitch and After Party. I've read about this, too. This, this is going to be insane. I swear, I'm not going to sleep the whole weekend. I'm just going to, like, be caffeinated and, and on, like, a lot of sugar. So um, that's happening the Friday night at the Gladstone. And so it's all you can eat, all you can drink. Nadia G's a hooch, so yeah. we're just going to have a big party time. Yeah, and that, I, when I was reading that, I was like, is it at the Gladstone? Or is it, because I know last year Toronto Life did an event yes. that was actually, like, at the Delicious Food Show. Right, yes. But this was, year, it's like an actual, like, you know, after party, party, after party, get out of that exhibition, and we're going to just have a I love it. Yeah. And so, tickets for that, do you have to buy them in advance? You do. Okay. Um, I believe it's $100 for all you can eat and drink uh, at the party, and you also get your entrance to the Delicious Food Show. That's not bad. That's amazing. No. That's like all in one. Yeah, all in one. Great music. Is like Naughty G's bringing her DJ. It's gonna be crazy. I just couldn't foresee. She has a DJ that like travels oh, yeah. with her. Like a little like. I, I need one of those. I know we all do. We all need a DJ in our lives. Just gonna like call one yeah. up and be like, hey, I'm going to this yeah. thing. You gotta come and like spin some jams for me. Exactly. <laughs> a little posse. So, is there anyone that you're really looking forward to this year at the Delicious Food Show? Oh, like. I'm really looking forward to meeting uh, Mario Batali and Tyler Florence because I've never met them before. Obviously. Okay, if Mario Batali doesn't have his orange Crocs on, he has to be already. Like, I'm pretty sure that like they are. It was in the like it was in the signed agreement that yeah, he has to wear the Crocs. Orange Crocs, Crocs or nothing. Yeah, yeah. If he shows up without them, like there's gonna be trouble. Yeah, That's all. I know. So the one thing that I really love about the Delicious Food Show is that. There's so many different networking opportunities. Absolutely. You get to interact with so many different people, not just like food media, but chefs. Yes. You get to interact with people who actually work in the industry. So I feel like beyond it actually being an exhibition of food, there's like so much more. There's another so layer. Much. So, I mean, what exactly do you, is that one of the things that you Oh, for about? sure. I mean, last year, I when I wasn't on stage, I literally just spent the entire weekend there, like going up and down the aisles, mm -hmm. to, like chat with the different like artisanal product producers and manufacturers, and like meeting them, and of course eating, yeah. uh, <laughs> sampling. I had to, you know, you just do my job, yeah. right? Um, but everyone was so nice and passionate about what they were doing and what they were trying to sell. 
Um, so it's just it's just really rewarding to see Toronto's food scene grow. In well, that and it keeps getting bigger. And oh bigger. my God, it's never ending. I mean, but we know because we've been so yeah. busy that we can't keep up. <laughs> no, right? I mean, I I never get to go back to the same restaurant twice, even though I eat out all the time because just always opening. There's always new, you know, innovative products that being sent. Well, and this is the reason why, like, I hate when people ask, oh, what's your favorite restaurant? restaurant? I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. I, I mean, like, my mind just draws a blank, and I'm like, That's the exact okay, same I'm like, thing where have I, I go through my blog posts, and I'm like, I'm like, what have I published yeah. recently? What have I published yeah. recently? Where have we been recently? Exactly. And then I always feel like such a cheat, because I'm like, oh, I think it was this place. Yeah. <laughs> I know, but it's, it, it, it is really hard to keep track but of. But that's what I love about Toronto is that like there's always somewhere new that's always. open. There's always something different like Middle Eastern food. Yes, it's really, really hot big. right now. Right now and I love that you can basically get anything that you want. Anything you want and it's and it's always exciting. Yeah. So absolutely I love, I love Toronto right now. Yeah, I think it's 